you know, at Shell Games, we're doing a lot of work with virtual uh, currencies and virtual economies right now because so many of the games we do are online and are working on social networks and are working off of microtransactions. And you end up having to think about these things. And it's, it's a very curious space. It's a space that we're all kind of uh, finding our way in and kind of learning, learning how it works. Um, there's some basic things that we, we certainly know. I mean, the, a lot of people assume that, oh, I'll create some kind of virtual economy and like, people will spend money on it. But that's certainly not true. What you have to do is you have to create a situation where people are going to want to put money in. So you have to find a way that people are going to feel invested. And if you look at the way a lot of the successful online games are created, particularly the free ones, they create a situation where they work hard to get you psychologically invested, and then they, they find exactly the appropriate time to kind of say, you know, this game could be a little better if you would just put five bucks in, or you would just put ten dollars in, or maybe they'll even mask it. If you would just contribute, you know, eight Facebook credits, that kind of thing, then uh, you could suddenly get this, make, make this better. So it's, it's a, and we're not used to this as game designers. Game designers are used to, we're going to make the best game possible, and we're going to want people to know about it because they're going to pay up front, and then we, we're going to deliver a game that they think is great. We don't have to think about that anymore. But now it's like we're all designing, you know, the point of purchase display at Walmart, right? And we're trying to figure out what, how do we position the racks of gum that's going to make people buy more than one pack of gum, you know? And that's, that ends up being how you have to think about it. So very often now, one of the big changes is we design games around a psychological moment where people are willing to spend money. And we figure, well, how do we kind of make that moment as exciting and engaging as possible? It's, we're not used to that. We're used to kind of having fun be at the core. But now funding is at the core. And we have to kind of build out that way, which is, which is very different. What's going to happen with virtual currencies is, is, is interesting. I mean, because the advertising folks, just like everybody else, are really kind of trying to struggle to figure out what does this new digital media mean? And interactive advertising is problematic, right? Because when you say, here's an advertisement, now you can interact with it. Your first interaction is make it go away, right? Because you don't want advertising. That's the whole point of advertising is you don't want it. And uh, so advertisers are going to realize the incredible power that the, the ways they can tap into these virtual economies. As we become more and more connected, right now people think that these virtual economies, they think of them that they're isolated and that they're off somewhere. But everyone's going to start to realize that it's just you know, information on the internet. And if you want to give me 100 gold, if I buy a 24 pack of Coca-Cola at the grocery store, you could do that now. There's like no technological barrier to keep you from doing that. The grocery store already has a unique barcode that you swipe when you exit. They already know your email address, most likely. All you'd have to do is give them one more piece of information about your World of Warcraft account, and bang, you could start doing that right there. And the same goes for you know Farmville and any game that has an online virtual currency. And the advertisers are going to start to see that, wow, these currencies mean something to people. They put, people put in hours and hours of their lives trying to build up this currency. How can we have them engage with our brand, purchase our products, spread the word about our new products, you know, get, give reviews to our products, et cetera, et cetera, and reward them with these virtual currencies? We're starting to see it happen already on uh, Facebook. We've seen quite a bit of this, and I think we're going to see it kind of branching out into the real world quite a lot. They're, they're starting to get the idea. They're trying to figure out how to begin. There's kind of a priming the pump problem that they have right now, but all it's going to take is a couple successes in this space, and you're going to see just a huge, just an ocean of, like, of, of, of experiments, uh, and some of them are going to succeed.